so now let's go to the next topic which is profile container and office 365 container okay so in fs logics let's say in fs logics we have two types of container okay one is profile container and another one is office container profile container is nothing but where you will save all your data let's say document desktop videos whatever it is even though your customization let's say you do some ie customization or chrome customization taskbar whatever it is everything will get stored in the profile okay so then comes office 365 container of office container here all the cached data related to office product it may be your office uh, outlook it may be your teams it may be your one drive it may be your sharepoint all the cached data will get stored in this profile container okay now come to the second part let's say most of the people doesn't know uh, what actually the office cache does office container does so it is nothing but it is completely designed for the cached data okay the thing is let's say you did not configure you did not configure office 365 container okay you use only profile container i have seen in many environment people does not use office container they will use only profile container so the challenge if you still it will work let's say you have an environment this is my vda and you have configured only profile container which will get stored in the shared drive so the challenge with only configuring profile container is all your data that is desktop documents whatever it is it will get stored in the office uh, sorry profile container as expected plus all the cached data let's say your outlook cached data or teams let's say you have you do multiple chats calls etc right it will initiate hell lot of uh, uh you know cached data or one drive if you are using one drive it will generate all so everything will get dumped put to your same profile so let's say you give 30 gb and within one month this 30 gb will get over why because most of the contributor will be your cached data because teams etc everything will sit on your profile container so that is why if you do if you include everything then you will have a chance to run out of space within one or two or three months because most of the you know consumption will be from the cached part so to avoid this what microsoft come up with this two different approach one for the profile where it is dedicated to store your profile data such as desktop documents customization etc and another disk another container which is only for the cached data okay so where you will have your cached data like teams etc etc all the cached so even if you delete this also let's say this is you are giving 30 gb this is you are giving 10 gb so at after 6 month you notice that this is still in 3 gb that is fine but this is reaching almost 28 or 29 gb okay then you go simply to the go to the network location and delete this it does not have any impact on the user why because whenever the user logs in next time right it will create the vhd that is office vhd again and it will download all the cached data from the ms cloud okay why ms cloud because this is office 365 right so all your teams outlook everything will be you know get downloaded from the cached data so that is the uh, that is the concept microsoft introduced both office container as well as profile container where you can segregate between your cached data and your actual data i hope the concept is clear for fs logics profile and fs logics uh, office 365 and what is the use case why when you wanted one when you need to use office 365 disk uh, container and when when you need to use profile container disk so that is the main uh, you know concept you have to understand so technically i am high like for my recommendation please use both because uh, you know as i told you like uh, you can dump all the cached data to that so but there is a separate use case you can use redirection.xml also instead of using office 365 but again it has got its uh, you know gray area as well which i already told